and greetings everyone and this video will be looking at uh, linear programming uh, another exam type question for NCA level 3 at an achieve level so some of the skills that will be demonstrated uh, will be linear programming processes and steps uh, forming in equations and graphing these in equations using decimals uh, we'll obtain a feasible region and then find the optimal solution Right, so we'll have a look at the example. It says a local gift shop uh, produces uh, two gift packages of uh, fruit. Uh, package A contains 20 peaches, uh, 15 apples and 10 pears. Uh, package B contains 10 peaches, uh, 30 apples and 12 pears. They have 40,000 peaches, 60,000 apples and 27,000 pears available for packaging. The profit on uh, package A is $2 and the profit on uh, package B is uh, $2.50. So the first question says, assuming that all uh, fruits are packaged and uh, can be sold, uh, how many of each types of packages uh, A and B should be prepared in order to maximize the profit? And then uh, in the next video, we will be looking at uh, the uh, excellence part. So what you need to do is uh, define the variables. Uh, so in this case, uh, we'll uh, have uh, X uh, be the number of uh, gift packages uh, A and Y be the number of uh, gift packages uh, B. And the objective function uh, is uh, 2X plus uh, 2.5Y. $2 is uh, profit on package A and $2.50 on uh, package B. So 2X plus uh, 2.5Y. I've also created a table here. Uh, using the information that was supplied so you can see package a we said is x and package b is variable y the total number of peaches that were available was 40,000 so 40,000 60,000 and 27,000 respectively right and so forth so it's easy to construct the table now we'll use that to uh, form in equations so we'll look at the peaches so peaches is 20x plus 10y is less than or equal to 40,000 uh, because we had uh, the maximum number of uh, peaches available were 40,000, so it's less than or equal to 40,000. Likewise, apples 15x plus 30y is less than or equal to 60,000, and pears 10x plus 12y is less than or equal to 27,000. And in this case, uh, non negativity uh, constraints, uh, we cannot have a um, negative number of uh, uh, packages. Uh, prepared so uh, in this case x is greater than or equal to zero and y is also greater than or equal to zero so what we will do next is uh, we'll graph these uh, inequalities using desmos and uh, find the feasible region and the um, vertices that go with that so in desmos.com uh, we'll quickly type the uh, uh, inequations that we formed so 20x plus 10y is uh, less than or equal to uh, 40,000 and then we have uh, 15x uh, plus 30y is less than or equal to uh, 60,000 and then we had uh, 10x plus 12y is less than or equal to uh, 27,000 and then we have non negativity constraints, so we cannot have negative number. So it's uh, positive, and then we have y is greater than equal to zero. Right, so um, I'll quickly have a look at the uh, feasible region. So the darker region is the feasible region. Now, if it's hard to see the feasible region, like I mentioned in my previous video, you can uh, uh, reverse these signs and uh, you'll get an unshaded region which will represent the feasible region. So in this case, uh, we've got these. So I'll quickly click on those. So next, we'll uh, use these vertices in the uh, objective function and see which one gives the uh, maximum uh, profit. From Desmos, we've obtained the um, vertices and i've already completed the table i would suggest if you can pause the video and uh, complete this yourself and see if your answer matches with this one so we've got uh, these vertices uh, from uh, desmos and then uh, i've substituted in the objective function 2x plus 2.5y to get the corresponding profit for example uh, if um, x value is zero and y coordinate is 2000 then it's two times zero plus 2.5 times uh, 2,000 gives you uh, 5,000. And likewise, I've filled in the rest. 
so what you can clearly see here is that uh, we get a maximum profit of five thousand five hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty when uh, the vertices are at uh, 750 and uh, 1625 so we will uh, describe that uh, information in context so a local gift shop needs to produce 750 packages of type a and 1625 packages of type b uh, gift packages that they are uh, preparing uh, this will give them a maximum profit of five thousand five hundred and sixty two dollars and uh, fifty cents so this is what's required for um, achieve so it's pretty basic um, if you don't have desmos uh, then you can still uh, find the points of intersection for the feasible region by solving these uh, simultaneously you will still get the same uh, vertices and then uh, you can see which one gives the maximum by substituting those vertices in the objective function and in this case we had a profit of five thousand five hundred sixty two dollars and fifty cents in the next video we will look at part b uh, part b is uh, when the uh, objective function changes thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video